Hello and welcome to another edition of the Taschenheinze. It's me in person. Guys, I already did a good video about the Duck Station emulator, the PlayStation 1 emulator. I showed this emulator to a friend of mine and then he said, hey, that's cool and all, but uh, I do have an old PlayStation 1 memory card. Is there a way to get the uh, memory card information to the PC and use it in the Duck Station emulator? Yeah, that's a good question. I really didn't know, but I wouldn't make the video if I hadn't found the way. What you see here is the Dex Drive SOV1128. It has a serial connector, as you can see here, and it has a big ass power supply over here. Guys, this device is designed for Windows XP 32 bit. Nevertheless, it runs without any problems on a Windows 10 x64 machine if you have an onboard serial connector. If you have a USB to serial connector, then you need probably to install the drivers for this adapter first. I was so lucky that I have an older PC where I do not need any additional drivers. Then I found a guy on the internet. Uh, I will post the link from the video in the video description who had made a yeah, super duper all in wonder package for you guys out there I will basically only show what to do and how to use the software after uh, you connect the um, Dex drive to your PC there is no indication if it's connected probably or uh, will it work or whatever the only indication that it is in use is when you read or write data onto the PlayStation 1 memory card. Anyhow, the software that I use is the Dex Drive Dexter. It comes with two files, one EXE and one HLL, HLP file. It's an old help file. Uh, as you can see, it's from 2003. So you will probably will to need download something from the internet to view this file. Anyway, the software Dexter Exa is pretty much self-explanatory and let's fire it up. This is all you get. That's not much. You select Open Dex Drive. And since I only have one COM port on my computer, it's connected to COM1. I can configure this in the UEFI or BIOS setting. If you have a controller, if you have a USB to serial connector, then you need to basically check all the COM ports where your Dex drive is connected to or how Windows interpreted on which COM drive it is. And then you just sec select OK. Then you see Dexter running from r left to right and it's reading all the information. And there you have the whole yeah, input, the whole save states from your old games. And what you then need to do is prepare a file, uh, prepare an empty folder, mark all the stuff that you want to have, right click on it, save single games, select browse to your folder, click OK, click OK, and Dexter is running again from left to right while he is exporting the games. Uh, the, the save states of the games and you see it will have the file ending MCS that's fine it's serial connector guy connection guys this will take some time even if the memory card is only one megabyte in size but given the fact that you can use your old save states I do believe it's probably absolutely okay to wait a few seconds and now you can see on the device that there's a green LED flickering you of course cannot But this is the only indication that everything is A-OK. -okay. You will not see anything before you yeah, basically use the, the Dex drive. And 
and that's it. Now you have the save states, the save ga saved games from your old PlayStation 1 on the computer. But this is only the first step. Now, as you can see here, this, these are all the files. And interesting enough, uh, it's roughly 150 kilobytes. So why the memory cards are so big in size with one megabyte, who knows? Anyway, you then click on, uh, or I, because it's a remote desktop session, I copy it right where I want to have it into my PlayStation 1 folder structure, as you already know. And then what you need is to fire up DuckStation. You can close this in the background. Then you go to settings. Now this is, until now this is all easy peasy. Now it's a little bit the annoying part. Because, before I forget it, we close it up. If you have, and this is important, if you have any of the games where you have your save state now from, or not the save state, I already mixed those two terms up, don't. It's a save state from the game of the mem from the memory card. For example, if you have already played Die Hard or if you have already played Tekken, please make sure that you have in the emulation or folder structure and the save states, you don't have any of the save states. It's important to delete the save states from the games where you want to import the save files from. This can be, if you don't, this can be really annoying because you don't, you will scratch your head and don't know what, what, what went wrong. So to be sure, delete everything that's under save states and then start up the emulator. Then go to settings, select memory card settings and you have here the memory card editor. Just click on it. Now, with this icon here, you can create a new card. And you will create it, best is directly in the memory cards folder and give it a name. My, my card. Now here you can format the card. Yes, we will format the card. Now you can see we have 15 blocks free. The next thing is that you need to import your files. To give you a quick rundown what we do, we have the physical memory card. We then copy the files to a computer. And now we are importing the files via the DuckStation emulator to a virtual memory card. Mm. And for this, you need to import file, select the folder, and here is a little bit of, ah, it has to be single games, okay, let's, you, you, you cannot select multiple files at once. However, that's a small price to pay. I import only those uh, two because I do know I have the, the games. Then you click save. You can close this now. Now, what you should see now in your file structure from the emulator that you have a new memory card called my card. Now, again, we just only copied the files to a virtual memory card. Now you need to tell the emulator that it should use this card. And this is again memory card settings, memory card one shared between all games because you have one memory card. Guys, if you listen from the development point of view, please let them remember the folders. Then you select my card. Select open, close, and to see if everything is working out fine, you just click start BIOS. And then the PlayStation emulator will run. Click memory card. And everything is going well. I will have my two save states. 
They are there. Then I can power it off. Select start file. And select taken free, for example. And let's see if we have a valid memory card for a valid save, saved game for taken free. Now, the, the, the main difference is between the save states and the memory cards. The save states is something from the emulator itself, and the memory card is a function from the games inside the emulator or from the PlayStation itself. Load, push, start. Load, okay. To be fair, I don't know what this save game is doing with Tekken. Anyway, you have seen it's working. Let's try Die Hard 2. Was it Die Hard 2? Yes, Die Hard 2. Again, this is basically only to show you guys that the game is recognized memory card and you can load up your saved games. Just to show you what I mean, you now have a save state for Tekken. Yes, it's a German version. Apparently can't you <laughs> Okay. There we have it. So there you see you have the as you see it has been read from the memory card and now it will load the game. Again, this is only to show you guys that the memory card is uh, working properly. And you see, I turned it off and it, all, it automatically created a save state for the game. So if you reload the game, it should continue where we let off. Again, if you have those, it can be problematic if you then switch the memory card, so to say, while playing. Again, I will post uh, the original video from the guy who uh, introduced me, per uh, not personally, but I found it on, on YouTube uh, for the software, the Dex Drive Dexter. Um, thanks to him. And I hope you guys can make use of it. For those who know me in private, if you have an older PlayStation 1 memory card, you can contact me and ask me if I may be so kind to create yourself a memory card file for your emulators. Until then, be well, have a nice day, enjoy playing. Until next time, it's me personally.